Many of us think of nothing stopping inside an ATM vestibule for some cash. It's quick and convenient. However, in recent years, we've certainly seen our fair share of violence and thefts inside them. But it's how some thieves are getting in that could be placing your personal safety at risk. There's four walls, a glass enclosure, even a security camera. But pulling cash out of an ATM vestibule may make you an instant target for thieves. In fact, just last week, a woman was robbed of cash at a TD bank in Nashua by this man. Last year, our sister station in Seattle, Cairo, uncovered a serious safety concern with this video. It shows Mitchell, a blind man, being robbed at a Bank of America ATM just trying to get some cash. Give me your money. Don't move, don't say a word, and he says, I have a weapon, I'll kill you. Mitchell chose the ATM because, well, he thought he was safe inside a glass enclosure. But security experts tell Fox 25 the glass is really to protect you from bad weather. It allows anyone access. How does that make you feel? Not too secure. Yeah, that's a big problem. The reason Mitchell was robbed is because the thief used a non-issued bank card to get in. In fact, most cards with a magnetic stripe will work, and the criminals know it. So what do you say we put it to the test in our own neighborhood? This is a Costco card. You simply slide it in, I'm buzzed in, easy as that. That's crazy. They need to take care of this right away. I mean, to know that you can get in with just anything, that's kind of surprising. Whoever can get in with any card, it's not safe. I've used uh, every potential card that's in my wallet, including a Costco card, to get inside an ATM, and they all work. We showed security expert Robert Siciliano the surveillance video, and he says all the bank vestibules care about is that magnetic strike. It's not looking for identifying information of any kind. The reason is because there are uh, so many different bank credit and debit cards out there that there couldn't possibly be um, a way to authenticate the user before they get into the actual vestibule. And this isn't just happening at Bank of America. At the Eastern Bank of West Roxbury, a Starbucks card and a Walgreens card opened the door. And at Santander, even a gas key got us in. We reached out to the banks for comment. They responded, but agreed this is an industry issue. So we turned to the Massachusetts Bankers Association for answers, and they issued this statement. Customer safety is our first priority. ATM vestibules are not designed exclusively for security purposes, but also for convenient customer access. The vast majority of ATMs, cash dispensers are not enclosed, Consumers should always be aware of their surroundings and only transact business or use an ATM where they feel comfortable and secure. Be very cautious. Here. Undercover detective Stephen Blair says vestibules can make you feel vulnerable. You are in an enclosed area by yourself and you are taking money out of a machine. He says Boston police are aware of the issue and from a law enforcement perspective would like a solution. I would like to see it where it only read uh, credit card numbers and it stored them down the road if, if something did happen law enforcement could backtrack on what card was used to open that door and that would help in the investigation there is no security in an ATM vestibule none if you think for one second that you are going to be secure in an ATM vestibule you are delusional I'm in anyone can get in Well, there has been legislation aimed at increasing ATM security proposed to the Joint Committee for Financial Services. It would allow for improved lighting, limit parking options, and offer an emergency call option on cash dispensers. There is, however, no mention on the bill regarding non-issued bank card access. Until this is addressed, the security expert we spoke with says statistically, using a drive-up ATM may be the safer option.